right now for them to exit the plane. Uh, they, they are here in front of this group of fans. The band is here, the cheerleaders, a large crowd excited to see Taylor emerge as national champion for the first time for your team. Let me go. Let me go.
to be in this uh, following this run the in person. Baylor had limited. Baylor family, the national championship trophy and the national champions are home. here in just a moment. I'd like to invite the mayor of the city of Waco, a proud Baylor graduate himself, Dylan Meek, who has a few words for this team. Hey guys, how about, uh, how about this national champion, man? I have a, I have the key in the city of Waco here. I want to give it to this Baylor team and Coach Drew. Jared, everybody! 
Now you got the trophy here, Jared, the culture of joy played out on a national stage and when the clock hit zero, you were the national champions. What does this mean to you and your teammates? Uh, it means a lot, man. Just um, the culmination of sacrifice, hard work, dedication, you know, all the good stuff. Like, it's, it's real. You know, we set our goals up. We had a goal, win a national championship, and we, we accomplished the goal. Like, you get such a line to you do anything, man. It's crazy. And, uh, man, we love y'all. We appreciate y'all, man. It's, Y'all um, done a lot for us, man. We need a lot. Jared. Love you too, man. Yeah. Hey, how about Damian? Yeah. Yeah. How about the National Defensive Player of the Year? Mr. Off Night himself. Oh. Hey, Damian, I'm going to ask you. You guys have to deal with something very different. Coming into the year, high expectations. You know, the number two team in the nation so-called at the uh, beginning of the uh, year, and you wore that mantle well, and then all of a sudden, you were the underdogs, according to some people in the national championship. What was it like for you all handling those expectations every step of the way, and then at the last game getting to prove some people wrong? Uh, I feel like all year long, we knew that we had a, a target on our back, even from last year, they took the national championship away from us. So we knew coming yeah. in, yeah. we knew coming in, we had to uh, work even harder and work even smarter. And I think we did a really good job of uh, standing together and uh, just praising each, praising each other and just playing for one another. Davion, hey, what's your favorite part of this team's culture? You guys do the little things. You pass, you set picks for teammates, you set other guys up for success. You certainly embody that with your defensive approach. But what's what you love most about this team's character? Uh, I think our, my favorite thing is our beast mode, man. You see on the court every time we either screaming or we yelling at each other. <laughs> it's just something throughout the whole game that gives us our team the whole energy and just sets us on the whole game. Very good. Well, hey, congratulations. Love that you still got your jersey on. Yeah. By the way, don't take it off. Ever. I'm not going to take my jersey off. Thank you guys for coming out here. Yeah. We love you. Hey. What do we got about Paceo Teague right now? Maceo Teague, 14 first half points last night, stepping up big. You guys really set the tone early. First nine points, you had a big lead, and then you extended that out of the locker room in the second half. Talk about the team's approach, what you came out looking to do as you imposed your will on the Gonzaga Bulldogs. Uh, we just tried to share the ball uh, on the offensive end and lock in on the defensive end. And, uh, I feel like we did a really good job at that and uh, playing for each other. You guys uh, came in and a lot of people were talking about, you know, Gonzaga is the favorite. I think the national media focused on, on that quite a bit. Is that something that you all noticed or at this point of the year, you just out there doing what you do? Uh, we didn't have a choice to notice it uh, because the coaches <laughs> before the pregame. <laughs> uh, they made us aware that we're the underdogs going into the game and we came out and got the victory. Is it all the more special this year when you think about, you know, we've talked about, you guys didn't get that chance last year. 2020, 2021 was a strange year. And then the tournament was in a bubble. What did that mean to you? What, what did it mean to come through all of that? Uh, it meant a lot to us uh, to show that we could persevere through anything. Um, we tried to win it for the guys who didn't get a chance to play last year. Freddie Gillespie, Devontae Van Duel, and even Obama KK over there. So, uh, we just tried to do it for those guys. And uh, we were playing for something bigger than ourselves in the locker room. Yeah, absolutely. Well, what, what, what did it feel like when the clock hit zero? Sensational. Sensational. Let's hear from ACO. What about the villain, Mark Vettel? Mark, the guy who does all the dirty work down low, and he made life difficult for Gonzaga last night. Mark. I don't know if you noticed, but all I heard the national media talking about was Gonzaga's post players. Gonzaga's post players. Can Baylor keep up with Gonzaga's post players? You didn't just keep up with Gonzaga's post players. You dominated them. Tell us about that. Uh, so I guess I just know we had some dogs.
we looked, uh, you know, uh, Drew, uh, you know, Kispert and Timmy, you guys held them combined to 14 points below their season scoring average, while you guys as a trio, you Mark, uh, you Jonathan, and you Flo, outscored your season average, even as you did all the dirty work down low. So you exceeded uh, not only uh, your own, you exceeded not only the nation's expectations, but your own high standards. Saw you down on the floor, kind of on your hands and knees. What's going through your mind when you realize you're like, here's Brian. <laughs> When you're the national champion. Man, if everybody know my, you know, how long I've been here and what I've been through. 18 years. 18 years. <laughs> Since I read shirt, you know that uh, there's been a struggle. So to win the national championship with these guys, these great group of guys and coaches and staff, they mean a lot. And uh, <laughs> nah, I ain't coming back. <laughs> I'm not coming back. I'm we love you, now. I love y'all too, but I ain't coming back. <laughs> <laughs> hey, what's a what, what's a coach troop bear hug when you've won a national championship line? Oh man, it's hard, bro. Yeah, like, yeah. Everything he put everything into it, hit you in the chin, everything. So this time I pulled him back, I gave him a big barrel and it's fun to it's squeeze him. <laughs> well, hey, we talked a lot about the uh, the culture of joy, uh, Mark. What, what what does that mean to you now? With all you've talked about your journey through the program, man, you looking at it, man. We changed everything, bro. You looking at it? I mean, look at it. And it's all because of God, man. God did all this for us. The last question for you, Mark. I know you guys probably haven't got a whole lot of sleep in the uh, last 48 hours or so, but uh, it's been a strange year. You know, there are a lot of games. We would have had 10,000 people in the Farrell Center rocking this year, loud, when you guys were on your way to a Big 12 championship. Obviously, the year didn't allow us to do that, but were you able to sense what the Baylor, where the Baylor family was with you throughout this, certainly in Indianapolis and in Waco alike? Hey, man, I've seen the tweets. I've seen everything that's going on down here. Y'all did y'all thing. I like that. <laughs> Very good. All right, open the floor. Anyone else have anything to say to the Baylor family? Anyone else you want to hear from? Uh-oh, Matthew Meyer. It's only right I have Jackson Moffat up here with me, my mullet, bro. Get up here, my boy. Man, this year's been crazy for us. We've had so much fun. Take the head off. And uh, I mean, this has been such a special year just to experience this with all these guys and my boy Jackson. And uh, you know, we love y'all and thank y'all so much for the support. Jackson, you got anything? Talk to him. Hey, thanks guys for coming. We love you guys. Follow Jackson on TikTok, Jay Moffat. Well, hey, we're not going to hear from everyone, but how about some continued cheers? How about applause for Everyday John, for Flo, for LJ, for Jordan, for Zacho Adam Flagler's there in the back corner. How about Mark Patterson over here with the trophy, Zach Loveday? Let's hear it for him. The 2020-2021 National Champions. Guys, let's cheer for them louder than you ever have before. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, come on. All right. Well, ladies and gentlemen, there's going to be more coming in the days ahead, that is. So stay tuned to BaylorBears.com. Watch Baylor Athletics on social media. There will be more to celebrate the national champions. So keep on the lookout for that. Thank you so much for coming out this afternoon and supporting the Bears. Sick of Bears, everyone. The Bears are the national champions. We'll see you again soon at a parade.
Man, I still, I still can't even believe it right now. I mean, I had to wake up and think, man, like I'm a champion, and no one can, nobody can take that from me. And everyone, everybody's gonna remember this team, and everybody's gonna remember it, all the guys and all the personalities and all the joy in the scene. Man, I, my first thing is I wanted to jump on the table and just thank the fans and, and do everything just, just to get the fans up hype. A lot was made about the possibility of them being an undefeated national champion. Say it again, I agree. A lot was made about them possibly being an undefeated national champion. Mm -hmm. If it weren't for y'all's COVID pause, you feel like y'all could have been right there too? Yeah, for sure. I mean, but I just think that uh, that COVID pause uh, kind of helped us in a sense uh, for us to get better, um, things that we had to get better at, uh, so we don't have situations like that. So I did think everything happens for a reason, and we came out with a victory. Anything else you want to say to the fans? Uh, I just want to say thank the fans, man. Uh, without God, none of this would be happening. So I just want to also thank the fans. Thank you. Thank you. Congratulations, man. All left. All they left here. Yeah, all that went out. Yeah. All the players. Yeah, the way we tried them was walking behind. Yeah. I was trying to get you to get one of them.